Joe Biden and Kamala Harris appearing for the first time together since their big announcement yesterday. The countdown is on 83 days. And you know, reaction among Democrats right here in Northeast Ohio for the uh, Harris pick has been really positive. That will be important, Frank, come Election Day, when turnout in Cuyahoga County will be key. News 5's John Kosick joins us with more on that. John? Yeah, in the eyes of many uh, Cuyahoga County Democrats, Kamala Harris represents that, that two-inch putt, that no-brainer pick for Joe Biden, who brings a, a level of energy to the race that will be desperately needed here in the state of Ohio if the Democrats have any hope of winning back the state. My phone blew up yesterday. This morning, I was getting text messages. Shanna Davis of Garfield Heights among Cuyahoga County Democrats applauding the selection of Senator Kamala Harris by Joe Biden to be his running mate. A woman of exceptional intellect, exceptional pride and valor. You, you can't help but be excited to support and uplift and represent her. Annette Blackwell appreciates the first Harris represents, having been elected herself as the first black mayor and first woman mayor of Maple Heights. She says Harris will stand with Biden, but stand for all women. It is a sense of validation, <laughs> finally. Uh, it is a, a sense of overcoming and saying, it's just yes. I keep saying in my head over, yes, yes. Earl Turner tells me his excitement is not just as a Democrat, but as a father. I have three daughters, and it's important for me as a father to see that, you know, this opportunity, because I know if the opportunity is made available for her, there's going to be opportunities for my daughters. The key for the Biden camp will be sustaining that level of enthusiasm into the fall, something Hillary Clinton was unable to do in Ohio four years ago. But senior Trump campaign advisor Bob Paduchik, who ran the Ohio campaign for Trump in 2016, cautions Harris's positions that fire up Democrats will also fire up Republicans. It shows how far Joe Biden's willing to embrace the radical left wing of his party. It shows that he's willing to uh, go as far left as he needs to go uh, to keep his base. And look for that to be a developing theme in this race as Republicans look to define Harris before she has a chance to define herself. I spoke a short while ago with Congresswoman Marsha Fudge, who believes Harris brings a certain dynamic to this race that hasn't been visible in a vice presidential candidate in some time. She will formally accept the nomination one week from tonight at the virtual convention. And, you know, for all the excitement surrounding this pick, historically, the impact of a vice president in the long run, pretty minimal, but some say this could be different, John. And I think that has a lot to do with the age of the candidate, 77 in the case of Biden, uh, 74 in the case of Donald Trump. So look for a greater emphasis to be placed on that vice presidential debate, which will actually take place eight weeks from tonight in Utah. All right. Thank you, John. And tonight.